welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. Today has been an editing day, so I've been editing the vlogs from Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, they'll, they'll both be up now. Um, I went downtown to get a few things. My bottom wisdom tooth is giving me a lot of trouble. Um, I've had my top two removed. Um, this one down here is just like, he's chillaxing. He's not, he's not giving me any, any worries, but this one, past three days, it's just been boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's been horrible. So I got some numbing gel. Like, you know, when a kid is teething and it hurts, so they put some numbing gel on. That's basically what I got <laughs> to hopefully tie me over until when I can get it out. Couldn't sleep a lot last night because of the pain. I ended up having to get up and take some painkillers. But anyway, I got some numbing gel on there, so if this part of my mouth is like a little bit weird, it's because of the numbing gel. Uh, what else? Oh, so nice. I went and fed the dogs right, and I was sitting outside. Oh, lovely. Out comes this wasp and bites me on the leg. Well, it doesn't bite me, because they don't bite. Stung me. Stung me on my leg. And I will show you the flipping mark, the, the mound that it made. So it's made quite a large uh, bite there. Um, quite painful. Look at it, it's flipping huge. The pain shot up right through my inner thigh all the way up. Gosh, it hurt. It got me a few times. I didn't know that there was a wasp nest underneath um, my chair that I sat on. Thankfully it wasn't on top, it was underneath, but still. Oh, that flipping hurt. I was like, what do I do? What do I do? Where's the ice? Where's the ice? That's all I could think was to ice it. But anyway, I iced it. It's, it's okay now. It's still a little, it's hurting a little bit, but it's not throbbing and it's not shooting pains anymore. But now, I'm going to make some Christmas cookies so that I can use um, my Christmas uh, cutouts. So I got that star that I showed you the other day. I got that one. And then Tim found this one. It's a snowman. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to use those. And I don't really know what recipe I'm going to use. I kind of want it to be chocolate chip, but... We'll see. I'll go through my books and see what recipe I like. So this is the recipe I'm going with. It's actually my auntie's chocolate chip biscuit recipe. It's really, really yummy. Except I'm going to double it because normally I just do like little small cookies with this. But because I've got such large cookie cutters, I feel like I'm not going to get many cookies out of it. So I'm doubling the mixture. This is what I've got going at the moment. I have to cream the butter and the sugar. So... <laughs> Um, there's actually like brown sugar and white sugar in there, but I ran out of white sugar, so I had to use raw sugar, so hopefully that still is okay. Um, but I've got my butter there, brown sugar, white, raw sugar, butter. Now I've got to cream this. Alright, i got two eggs, and I've got two teaspoons of vanilla in there. I'm gonna beat that up. Bicarb soda. Two of those. And then some plain flour, which I'm going to hand um, hand mix in. So this is what the dough looks like now. I'm going to add the chocolate chips at the end after I made the shapes. Otherwise, it might be a bit difficult trying to cut them out with chocolate chips in the dough. But it's really, really soft. So I'm going to split it in half because it's a really big batch. And then wrap them in... Um, Cling wrap and then put them in the fridge for a few hours, I think, to get a bit harder because, yeah, it's really soft. It's also a really hot day today. So I've got my marble pastry board here and with some flour on top. And here is my dough. I'm going to roll this out with my rolling pin. We'll see how this goes. Got it rolled out pretty good, and now I'm gonna put my star down. Nice cut out. Very good. And we'll go again over here. Oh, 
sen chocolate chips and this is what they look like I'm gonna put them in for eight minutes the recipe says 12 minutes but this oven is super fast and very annoying so I'll put these ones in Vlogmas day 22. I have a very sore tooth. You know how yesterday I said my uh, my wisdom tooth was really acting up? Well, it's really, really acting up. And in about an hour, yes, about an hour, 45 minutes, I'm going to the dentist to hopefully get this tooth out because I could barely sleep last night. Same with the night before. And I'm over it. And it's just Duh, I hate it. Anyone who's had a bad wisdom tooth, you know what I mean. Um, so, I just wanted to put a little bit of makeup on to cheer myself up because honestly I feel like crap right now and it's like two days to Christmas and uh, anyway. And I was going to try this new mascara from, the brand is called W7 and you get it from I know one place you can get it from is a Discount Chemist Warehouse here in Australia. And um, just look at this packaging. Doesn't it remind you of Benefit There Real? Like it even has the same font and color. And then the brush, hang on, I'll just sit you down there. The brush looks just like it as well. And that's the brush. So similar, hey. So I'm going to try it for the first time on camera right now. I'll sit you back back there. Straight away I'm saying it is nothing like Benefit There Real. Which is sad. That's the difference there. I mean it's not bad by any means but it's not like They're Real. So that's the difference there. So it's not bad, by any means, but it's not like they're real. Alright, I'm in the car now, I'm going to go to the dentist. As much as I hate going to the dentist, I know I'm going to be relieved coming out knowing that I'm not going to have any more pain and the tooth is gone and it's all going to be all good because, you know, my two other wisdom teeth that I got out, I had no trouble with them afterwards. Um, so... Here we go guys, here we go. Hi guys, so as you can see, hopefully you can hear me, <laughs> it's much later now and um, it's been about, about seven hours since I've had my tooth out. Um, holy smokes, that hurt. <laughs> okay, like no joke, I had to have happy gas to calm me down. <laughs> Because I just hate going to the dentist, let alone getting a tooth out. So, I had to have happy gas. I don't know how many needles I had to numb. I think I counted um, four or even five. Um, <laughs> the tooth came out pretty, pretty well. There wasn't any real trouble with that. Um, it's just the, like, the numbness... Um, so it went from back here, then all the way to like, probably about half of my lips. Um, but the numbness towards the back started to wear off almost straight away um, after I left the dentist. So, and um, the pain that I was feeling was pretty, pretty intense. So I quickly got my script that the dentist made up for me, which was um, some painkillers. And then came home and pretty much cried 
Now, I was in a lot of pain, which explains why I didn't vlog because I, I could barely, um, I could barely talk, I could barely move because I was in so much pain. And I mean, I took my painkillers straight away, but, um, they're not the strongest ones. I don't, I don't, I think the chemist didn't stock the ones that the dentist wanted me to take. So they gave me a substitute, which aren't as strong as the ones she wanted. Um, so I, I did take them straight away when I got home, but with me and my body, um, it takes a fair while for painkillers to start working, like probably an hour or more afterwards that I take them that they actually start to kick in. These particular ones though, they didn't really start um, doing anything, yeah, for like an hour and a half. And, and with that, like, they just made me drowsy, they didn't actually take away the pain. So I was pretty much a zombie. <laughs> walking around um, and crying because the pain was pretty much unbearable um, and wanting to sleep but I couldn't like I was drowsy like I wanted to sleep but I couldn't because I couldn't stand the pain anyway so yeah like I said it's like seven hours later now it's pretty hard for me to talk and open my mouth and eat food I can barely open my mouth she actually had to put a couple stitches in um, but yeah, the tooth came out well. Um, I'm feeling okay now. It's not like throbbing, unbearable pain like it was before. Every time I move my mouth, I can feel the pain, which is why I'm not trying to move it too much. Um, so I'm probably going to sleep sitting up in my bed tonight just because you're not supposed to lie down too much. Um, to help with the bleeding um, <clears throat> so that's that's my plan tonight we just got done watching um, pixels <laughs> I actually watched it on the plane um, going to Tokyo um, but Tim hadn't seen it yet so we watched it together and that was quite funny we are, we also watched the Santa Claus trying to take my mind off the pain which is pretty hard to be honest um, and for for dinner I had a couple slices of cheese which was very hard to eat <laughs> and then some boiled eggs and that was my dinner um, but anyway I'm going to go now and I will see you guys in the morning where hopefully I will be feeling much much better all right i'll see you in the morning good night good morning guys and welcome to vlogmas day 20. we are at pacific fair doing some christmas shopping